Captain's log, stardate 2631. We're adrift in hostile territory, with the rebel threat looming around every corner. A large percentage of the crew is wounded after we drifted too close to a solar flare yesterday. I fear it's time to do the only sensible thing left. Vent them all out the airlock for fresh clones, of course. FTL is the gold standard for roguelikes, and it's my second favorite indie game of all time. The game places you as a captain of a small ship, running vital intel to the front lines of a galactic super war. You're tasked with upgrading your ship, recruiting new crew, and installing new ship components, all in preparation for your final fight against an unholy enemy. The true greatest threat to the entire galaxy. Giant alien spiders. Seriously, if you get this event, just leave the civilians behind. You can't save them all. Oh well, did your best. Bye! I love this game, and I probably fire it up every couple of months for a single glorious playthrough before letting it sit idle again. For this game, I wanted to make an auto hotkey that would launch the game when pressed. So we're going to model, print, and paint a hotkey that will take the place of one of the keycaps on my keyboard. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to need to do is model the top of the keycap. I decided to model the classic Kestrel for the top, so let's get that done now. It came out looking great. Now let's throw this on top of a Cherry MX keycap model. There's one available for free on Thingiverse from user Ohegel, with a link down in the description. While that prints on our SLA printer, let's get the coding out of the way. I'm going to use a simple scripting language called AutoHotKey because I'm familiar with it, but this could really be done in just about any programming language. Let's first define it to be the number 9 on my number pad and tell it to run FTL whenever pressed in full screen mode. The print is done and it came out looking super detailed and amazing. Let's do some painting to finish it off. Here's the final product. I'm really happy with how it turned out, and I think it looks really awesome. It fits really well on the keyboard, blends in with the general aesthetic, and it works like a charm. Let me know what game or show you want me to make something from next. I'm Sunbad Engineer, and I'll see you next time.